Hey. Just let me know. Sure, take a peek. Okay, you made it. I'm just up ahead. My synths are standing down. Let's talk. Hey. You say the word. Got it. There he is. Most resilient man in the Commonwealth. Funny. I thought I had that honor. So, here we are. Funny, huh? Where is my son? Where is Sean? <laughs> Pal, I'm just a puppet like you. My stage is a little bigger, that's all. Sean's a good kid. A bit older than you expected, am I right? But he's doing great. Only... He's not here. He's with the people pulling the strings. God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker. Where is my son? What's the cliche? So close, but yet so far away? That's Sean. But don't worry. You'll die knowing he's safe and happy. A bit older than you expected, but ah oh well. At least he's in a loving home. The Institute. So where is it? Huh? This Institute. How do I get there? <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the Institute. The Institute finds you. You open the closet, it's just a closet. You can never find the monster that hides inside. Not until it jumps out at you. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? Oh, I'm 
ready. Question is, are you? So I can kill you all over again, you piece of shit. Take your time. The literate keep me fed.
lot of caps went into building this place. Talk about a waste. You say the word. Over here. That's a plan. Going up. Hey. Point the way. Piper. You look like you could use a pick-me-up. Your thoughts? Most folks are just looking for a hand. All we gotta do is offer. Are things all right between us? Not a lot of complaints at the moment. And you can ask around. That is a rare occurrence. Are things all right between us? You got nothing to worry about. We're good, Blue. And what do you say we get back to making trouble? That was all I had. Okay. Commonwealth. Do not interfere. 
Our intentions are peaceful. We are the Brotherhood. dangers of the wilderness, all the privacy of downtown. Storytime Simon here. Welcome back. And here it is, part two of The New Squirrel. One night, a red squirrel appeared at the bottom of Ricky's oak tree and woke Ricky and his family. Oh, please help me, said the red squirrel. I am lost and have nowhere to go. The elders were quick to turn the red squirrel away, but Ricky scurried down the trunk of his tree and stood firm next to the red squirrel. He yelled up at the elder squirrels. How could you turn him away? Just because he's from another tree? He needs our help. Affected by Ricky's assuredness and determination, the elders agreed to take in the red squirrel. The red squirrel thanked Ricky for standing up for him. You won't regret this, he said. End of holotape. Please insert holotape three.
Watch out. Free for the taking. Hello, my name is Storytime Simon, and I hope you like stories, because I love to tell stories. This one is called The New Squirrel. Come with me on this magical adventure. There once was a young squirrel named Ricky, who lived in a big oak tree in a city park. Ricky was a brown squirrel, and lived in the oak tree with all his brown squirrel friends and family. Every day... Ricky would look out from the top of his tree and wonder what kind of squirrels lived in other trees. The older squirrels warned Ricky that the squirrels in other trees were thieves and liars. They were never to be trusted. Ricky had a rebellious heart and would not form his opinions based on anecdotal evidence. End of holotape. Please insert holotape too. Time Simon here with the exciting conclusion to The New Squirrel. 
Tomorrow we can get to know each other and become best friends, said Ricky to the red squirrel. The red squirrel made a sound that Ricky took for agreement, and the two squirrels curled up to sleep. Later that night, Ricky woke up to the sound of leaves rustling in the oak tree. He looked around. The red squirrel was gone. Ricky surveyed the landscape below and saw a pack of glowing eyes approaching the base of his tree. Cats! Ricky heard a voice from a nearby tree. It was the red squirrel. I'm sorry, he said. They were following me and I couldn't bring them to my tree. They would have eaten my family. As the cats ascended the tree and began to devour Ricky's friends and family, Ricky reflected on his decisions. His last words were, I really wish I would have trusted my elders. The end. You're pretty good at that. Like, maybe next time you're in my house, I need to keep an eye on you good. Heads up. Shoot. Hey, Piper. Shoot. Your thoughts? Yeah, have you ever seen anything like that? The airship? God! They must have an entire army on that thing. 
Your thoughts? I'd always heard folks were nicer in your day. Never expected I'd see it firsthand. Nothing else for now. Okay. Heads up. Where to? Move here. Yep. Take a look. What was that?
setting this to repeat. This is Ellie Perkins from Valentine's Detective Agency with a message for Nick's partner. We've got a new case and it sounds urgent. Stop by the office, I'll be waiting. Setting this to repeat. This is... Yeah? Carla. Need to pick something up? Road's pretty long from here. Sure, let's take a look. Yeah, yeah, keep your shirt on. public is here to pull the wool out from under your eyes. Hey, you see that big blimp? What's the Brotherhood of Steel? Why are they here? Here to find a new way to ruin my life? This better be an emergency. I need some supplies, Doctor. All right, but go easy on the chems. Tats, whatever. Sure, let's take a look. Self served medicine. Uh huh. Dr. Duff handles all the visitors. Bother her. Have fun out there. And don't get killed. That'd be bad for progress. Dr. Duff. Come back once you have that bloatfly gland, and you'll earn that prize.
Hey. What can I do? What do you want? I prefer the direct approach anyway. I'm in town looking for Henry Cook. Do you know where I might find him? He's dead. Is that so? What do you know about it? I killed him. You son of a bitch! Why should I let you live? Sorry, he ended up dead. You're sorry? I ought to. No. It's not worth it. He was no saint. There are all sorts of ways he could have gotten himself killed. The way he lived. Get out of here. Before I change my mind. Broke up with my girl. No sense allowed at the surplus. Two faced. You know who does that? A sin. I don't recognize you. Something I can do for you? Don't you remember me? No, can't say I do. Did you need something from the science center? 
You were the one who sent me on a field trip. Hmm. I don't recall. That might have been before or after I had to vent out an awful lot of semi-toxic gas from the lab. Maybe if you were more specific? Yeah. I have this bloat fly gland. You asked for it. Oh, the field trip, of course! Oh, wonderful. Let me just take that. These glands are definitely the product of adaptation to radioactive exposure. Maybe our own insides have adapted as well. Wouldn't that be something? Here's a little reward for my new junior scientist. Too shabby. Hey, Dr. Duff. There's my junior scientist. Hope you're continuing your own biological field work. Dr. Duff. Did you know, in chemistry, you should never mix a base into an acidic compound? <laughs> Lost a few eyebrows that way, I'll tell ya. Up your knees. And look now. like a jackass. All sure looking good lately. Right Guess Abbott found some more paint. Hey, Piper. Most folks are just looking for a hand. All we gotta do is offer. Maybe constantly trying to kill us, but the Commonwealth never lacks for excitement. Never thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful. Piper. Anything I can do? You just say the word. Nothing stays hidden forever. At least. Not if I have my say. Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Or, you know, if you need anything proofread. Hey, Piper. Maybe constantly trying to kill us, but the Commonwealth never lacks for excitement. Hey, Valentine. Where's your son? What happened?
Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean? The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. You don't know anything, Nick? I woke up in a junk pile ages ago. Just another discarded prototype. The Institute hasn't come calling since. I'm sorry. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there, but... To this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is, or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. What about him? He had to have a way in and out. Am I right in thinking he's not available for a chin wag? Yeah. Any other ideas, Nick? That's what I thought. He's dead. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. I was so blinded by anger. I just wanted him dead. Now look what I've done. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Who's this Dr. Amari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Hmm. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. If you want to head there together, just say so. Anything else you can tell me about the memory den? It's in Good Neighbor, a little slice of trouble northeast of ways. The memory den ain't just a fancy name, it's literal. A lot of people give up all their caps just to relive the good parts of their lives. Over and over. But not us. We're gonna try to dive deep into someone else's mind. I can meet you there, or we can head out together. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there, Nick. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're gonna get you a boy back. Just a few more steps.
Hey. Shoot. Help yourself. Hey. Hmm? Piper. You know, the Institute has a lot of enemies. The Minutemen tangled with them once. <laughs> the Railroad still does. I've even got some notes on these new guys. The Brotherhood of Steel. You said something about the, the Railroad. Supposedly, they help runaway synths escape the Institute, but they're secretive. Ultra paranoid. The only thing I have is a rumor. A, a code phrase. Follow the Freedom Trail. That Brotherhood airship is hard to miss. Yeah, the Brotherhood of Steel doesn't do subtle. From what I've heard, they take whatever they want. Especially if it's high tech. They just might have the muscle to give the Institute a run for their money, but they're... Let's just say they have their own agenda. Tell me about the Minutemen. You know that group you rescued and conquered? As far as I know, they're the last Minutemen left in the Commonwealth. They used to be a volunteer army, dedicated to protecting friends, family, and neighbors. Sounds soft, but they were a real thing at one point. We should get going. All right. Hey. What you got for me? Piper. Mm, time for some travel fuel. Want one? Your thoughts? Need a countdown on the Institute's favorite people? We should get going. All right. 